So Mecca itself is in the middle of a valley surrounded by black mountains. And Mecca was a sacred place. It originated way back at the time of Abraham. May peace and blessing be upon him. As we know, Abraham had two wives, Sarah and Hajar. And Hajar was from Egypt. She was Egyptian. So Hajar was from Egypt. Abraham was so old and he did not have any children. And when he was about 80 years old, he was blessed by Allah Azza wa Jal and Hajar gave him his first child, Ishmael. And to his surprise, when Ishmael was just an infant, Allah ordered him to go to Mecca. And his elder son is Isaac. This is something disputable, but the authentic would be that Ishmael is the, the eldest, mm -hmm. older than uh, 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 Isaac. So they moved to Mecca, but Mecca was an empty, deserted area. It's a valley, yeah. and there was no one there. So he left them, he abandoned them, and walked away. So Hajar told him, what are you doing? There's no one here, there's no grass, there's nothing. And he did not look back. So she told him, was it Allah who ordered you to leave us here? Of course, we cannot do this because we don't get any revelation of Allah. Yes. But he was a messenger of Allah and he was ordered to do this. So he said, yes, Allah ordered me to leave you here. So she said, Allah will not abandon us. Go on your way. I think before we know what happened to Hajar and her son Ismail, that we will take a short break. So inshallah, we will be right back. So this is an open invitation for everybody to recognize God and enjoy His blessings in this life and His mercy in this life and in the hereafter as well. Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim. Each name has a meaning. Each name signifies a nature of Allah the Almighty which no one shares or is compared to Allah in it. Assalamu alaikum and welcome back. Just before the break, we reached the point where Abraham والسلام, abandoned Hajar, his wife, and her son, an infant son, uh, Ishmael. And it was, they were stranded. There was nothing. So she kept on going from one hill to the other, from the Safa to the Marwa, trying to locate someone or some a thing that can help them in her situation and their crisis and she could not find anything and the child was thirsty and hungry so he started hitting or digging the, the ground with his very small tiny feet and the archangel Gabriel came with his wing and dug that ground and to their surprise water came out from the ground and Hajar started trying to ice, uh, 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 contain the water so it would not go away because she did not have anything yeah. and that was known to be the well of Zamzam. Zam. A while afterwards a tribe of nomads was traveling and they saw the birds and they realized that there was water but they know that the land did not have any water so they came in and they saw the, the woman and her child around that well and they requested to settle there. She allowed them to do that and life began. You and said Hajar, may Allah bless her, said Allah will, will not abandon us. Yes, and Allah indeed yes. and did not abandon them. And this shows you the more faith you have in Allah Azza wa Jal, the more you will find the results immediately because as the Prophet says, والسلام, Allah the Almighty says, whenever my servant thinks well of me, I'll be 
up to his expectations. And that means that we all have to think well of Allah Azza wa Jal so that whatever we expect will come to reality. Ishmael grew up and when he reached a certain age, Abraham was told to come back to Mecca. So he did. But to his surprise, Allah Azza wa tested him again. And prophets and messengers of Allah are tested not like any other. Who can abandon his wife and child in the middle of no one, of nowhere? Maybe some would say, well, I can abandon the, the, the wife, but the child, no, well, this is a different story. No, seriously speaking, no one can do that. And Abraham was torn from inside, but it is the revelation of Allah, and he has to uh, 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 okay. obey it. Now, when the boy was almost uh, uh, reaching the, the age of puberty, he was told to go back to Mecca. So Abraham went to Mecca, he met his son, and to his surprise, he ha had a revelation in his uh, yeah. uh, dreams, ordering him to slaughter his only son, who just reached the age of puberty and was able to help his father, support him when he is like 90 or 95 years old. You are in deep need of such a child and a son to be with you, to inherit your name. But again, Abraham, may Allah uh, be pleased with him, sallallahu alayhi wa peace and blessing be upon him, was up to the test. And he told his son, this was the revelation of Allah, I have to slaughter you. The son did not say, are you out of your mind? You are asking me, you're telling me, you want me to die? Maybe you, this is something uh, out of uh, Allah's uh, 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 instruction to you. Maybe this is Satan. Maybe it's all, No, no. Ishmael knew that this was a revelation because the dreams of the messengers usually are a revelation. Satan cannot come and intervene at all. By this test, Ibrahim seems to be to deserve to deserve the uh, the title of uh, the messenger of strength. Rasul. Yes, and, and also he deserved to be the one loved by Allah, Khalilullah. And you have you know stages of, of being close to one, but Allah Azza wa Jal has chosen Abraham and has chosen the Prophet والسلام, to be uh, uh, the loved ones uh, uh, by Allah the Almighty. And Khalil could be translated as the friend? It's, it's a higher degree than friend. friend every, you can have friends. And that is why the Prophet وسلم, when talking to the companions, he said that if it were not for the fact that I am the Khalil of Allah جل, the beloved one of Allah جل, I would have chosen Abu Bakr to be my Khalil, to be my loved one. But your friend, he's talking about himself, وسلم, is the Khalil, is the beloved one of Allah جل. So the test was not for Ibrahim only. And this one. The Ishmael. test was for Ishmael. And Hajar. Well, Hajar was out of the question <coughs> because she is an obe obedient wife and she was not mentioned in the Quran regarding this incident. Okay. And I presume that Abraham did not tell her. Okay. And he has all the right not to. Mm -hmm. Ishmael immediately said, do what you're told, Father. This is a revelation of Allah. And once he had put him down to slaughter him, Ishmael told him that, well, I'm going to look downwards so that you won't look at the expressions of my face and then you may hesitate. Imagine the strength and devotion to give one's life in obedience to Allah's instruction. And the minute Abraham wanted to slaughter him, Allah Azza wa Jal gave him uh, 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 the glad tiding of saying that you have passed the test and you have... Uh, 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 you deserve what you will get. And Allah Azza wa Jal gave a sacrifice instead to slaughter instead of his son. And then he left back again to his home in uh, uh, Iraq region. After a few years, Ishmael became a big, strong man. And Abraham came back to Mecca. And we were told that they both uh, 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 joined hands in building the sacred Kaaba, the black house, the black uh, uh, structure, which is at the moment 
in Mecca, where we find it, where all Muslims face in prayer and in the direction of it. They've built it to be the house of Allah, which means that it is honored that people pray to it, not that Allah Azza wa Jal is in it, may Allah be exalted. No, it is honored by adding the name of Allah to it, and it is sacred because it is the house of Allah. And the tribe of Jarham has expanded, and Mecca has become a place of worship of Allah Azza wa Jal. This is the very beginning of the tribe or of the city of Mecca. And the descendants of Abraham and uh, the tribe of Jarham uh, were the ones to live in Mecca, were the ones to form the, uh, uh, the tribe of Quraysh. Once everything was settled and the, 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 the offspring of Ishmael started spreading and multiplying, Mecca, which became a sacred place and people started performing pilgrimage to it, also increased in its status by adding commercial and economic, economical status to it because it was in the middle. So they had trade caravans coming from Yemen, trade caravans coming and going to uh, the north, to the Sham. They, have, uh, they had uh, ships coming from, uh, from, from, from Africa, uh, from Abyssinia. They had uh, ships coming from India and they started exchanging silk, spices, uh, wine, food, and uh, uh, clothing, and so on. So it became a very important village and city at that time, religiously and economically, bearing in mind that the people did not have any industry, they did not have any farming, so they were relying entirely on a, 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 a trading. You say that place for pilgrimage. Uh, yes. You mean Islamic pilgrimage? No, oh. no, no. It's oh, the, another they, kind of Yes, pilgrimage. no, no. The people living in, in Mecca were following the religion of Abraham. Abraham. And that is why people used to perform pilgrimage on the religion of Abraham.